Hello everyone, welcome back to another week of Fallout 4 mods. This week we've got so many things. We got burgers, we got turrets, we got combustible oil lamps, we got shopping carts, oh, and we got nighttime trouble. Better watch out. Let's get started. 10mm HD by D. Pilari. There are two options for this retexture. You've got a 2K and a 4K version. I'm using the 2K version and it looks fantastic. Always nice to see vanilla weapons get a nice makeover, and this one hits the spot. Revolver Reanimation Pack by War Daddy. Another animation pack from good old War Daddy, this time with his sights on revolvers. This will change animations for the 44 pistol for a smoother and more experienced cowboy. Ooh. Boo, 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 boo. Good job, cowboy. Good job. Bulldog 308 by Shibakari554. This rifle has a beautiful mesh with some lovely add ons such as scopes, grips, and the usual variety of compensators. There's also a shortcut item that can switch your weapon between full and semi, and adjust your scope's zoom as well, which is pretty cool. There are no extra skins or textures currently, but Shibakari has mentioned that they will brush up on the model and textures in a future release. Factor, modular rifle by VigVam33. And modular it definitely is, boasting more than 150 modifications and a number of skins, this baby can be changed to whatever you need it to be. Textures are great, and I really like the choice of having either clean or dirty versions of each, since I always enjoy stuff that looks a little bit used and scruffed in the dirt and thrown on the ground. Oh yeah. You can even convert it to a 50 cal if you need to take down some behemoths. Minigun Emplacements by Blah Blah -de Blah Blah and Yulia. Simple and effective, build these miniguns under defense, guard posts, and worry no more about your settlements. Unless you get attacked from the side, or behind the turrets. NPCs automatically spawn on the minigun, and a few times I did see them actually take the uh, minigun off the tripod and just go to town there, so works like that too, I guess if they can't turn all the way sometimes they'll just rip it off. Also included are 35 enemy spawns throughout the commonwealth, so basically you'll have a bunch of enemy turrets just waiting for you, so make sure you got your eyes open. Burger time by Futoshi. Burgers, pizza, and soda. We got it all. You can order these tasty items at a vendor, or make your own burgers and pizzas if you want to make your own food. There's also a little bit of Todd Howard and some of the Pepsi. It's gross. Get out of here, Todd Howard. Get out of here. Combustible oil lamps by DarkFox127. If you've ever been in a firefight and wanted to shoot those nearby oil lamps, your suffering's over. Now any combustible lamp can be shot at with a blast of fire following its destruction. Enemies scream, they burn, it's, it's good times all around. After 24 hours, the oil lamps will respawn, allowing you to relive your fiery combat moments. Cart, shopping cart container by Buali. A number of movable containers that can be used to store stuff and bring it around with you. The containers as shown here can all be built at a chemistry station and then filled to the brim with anything and carried around. Currently the carts can only be used outside and it isn't recommended that you leave them alone for extended periods of time, although it should be fine as Buali tested it and nothing super bad happened but you know, it's a mod. You never know what's going to happen. Future updates will possibly feature a quest marker so you don't lose it, along with a fast travel option. Pretty neat idea, and great for survival players that want to carry the world without being over encumbered. Sleepless Nights by D. Huster. Hopefully I said that right, probably not. Sleeping in the middle of an abandoned city should be dangerous, and with Sleepless Nights it is. Now when you sleep in areas that are a bit less protected than most, there's a possibility that you'll be attacked. If you're over level 35, there's also a 50% chance you'll get a second random wave of enemies that attack as well. For instance, I had this happen to me when I was attacked by both Mr. Gutsies and Super Mutants while sleeping inside. You do get a holotape with a few options. This includes Nightmare Mode, which will spawn enemies at both day or night, regardless. You can choose to allow multiple attacks per day, for attacks to immediately start after sleeping, and prepare for uninstall. I would personally like an option to maybe have a uh, minimum or a maximum amount of enemies that spawn each time. 
My character is about, I think, 76, and each time I got ambushed, it was like 10 or 15 enemies, which is, you know, in vanilla that works out. But for those of you who have damage modifiers, just prepare to get slaughtered when you wake up, because there's a lot of people. There's also a chance that a ghoul horde will appear and attack you, and uh, that sounds horrifying, it's because it is. Scary as balls. All right, everyone, that does it for this week's Fallout 4 mods. I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. As always, if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments and I'll check them out. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the mods. I'll see you in the future. Away!